Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week, a viewer of my blog, Risto Velev, reminded me that I didn't set up gamma settings on my installation of 3D Studio Max. I'd forgotten to do that. So this week, I'll be showing you how to set up gamma correction on your 3D Studio Max program, and you'll also get to see what effect that has on your final render. So I've got here uh, a render that I've taken using Mental Ray, and I've also used the photographic exposure control that we used last week. Um, and you'll want to use that again this week as well. So I'm going to close that. And in order to set up gamma, I'm going to go to rendering. I'm going to go to exposure control. And scroll down. You can see again I'm using photographic exposure control. I'll go down here to the gamma settings. And I'm going to click on setup. That's going to bring up my preferences dialog and it's going to open up the gamma tab. What we need to do is enable gamma correction and what we'll want to do is right here in the display group under gamma there's a spinner and you'll want to adjust that spinner such that this interior box looks to be about the same shade of gray as the surrounding black and white checkerboard pattern. Lower numbers will turn the value darker higher numbers will turn the value lighter. And so what you'll want to do is maybe start somewhere pretty dark, get really close to your monitor, close one eye, and blur out the other eye, and gradually increase the lightedness until you arrive at a point where the two boxes are similar. There we go. And when you get to that point, you know that you're, you've got settings that are appropriate for your monitor and for your setup. So now that I have my gamma value, I'll click OK, and I'll close out my environment and effects panel. I'm going to reopen my render, and I'm just going to grab a region. This looks pretty good. And I'll re-render using my gamma adjusted settings. So it looks like this change has really darkened up my image. What I need to do now is readjust my exposure values to compensate. I'll also move over that render area so that we can kind of get a, a fresh perspective right there. So I'm going to close my camera view and I will go to rendering, exposure control, and I'm just going to turn this down by one, one step. I might need two, but let's just try one for now and re-render the scene. Perfect. In only one step, we've readjusted our gamma settings in 3D Studio Max and regained control over our scene, taking care of that washed out look. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.